Again, if you've never watched live bowling, you're in for a treat today because this atmosphere in this venue, in this city, is different. It is unique. It is unlike any other on the planet. Portland, Maine has made the PBA playoffs an absolute success in year one. First shot of our title match, and it's 10 in the pit. Cal Stoic, just all business, the real deal. Looks angry out there. That's, that's focus there, my brother. That reminds me of somebody I met last night. Chris Prather up his first shot, a little smirk on his face. Talked about the nerves in the pregame from Prather. See how he handles it on his first shot. Big shot here, game one. Take a 22 pin lead. Billy O, Belmo, Fagan, major champion. Come on, 10. Yeah, now that's disturbing because that looked pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you mention your friend of me again? Tom Doherty had a pretty good day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tom, I had oh, to. I love Tom, bottom of the fifth. He's going to be calling us in a moment. Another strike for Prather. The lead swells. It's now 32 after five. Needs it. Boy, he really did. There's his wife, Christy, cheering him on. That is how you do it. Can max out at a 246. Hasn't seen a strike, though, Randy, since the fifth frame. That was pretty good and when he needed it, too. You've got a packed house, you got television lights, and you've got $100,000 dangling in front of you. Prather knows he can close it out. A strike here would pretty much do it. Heavy, oh and my. in a big trouble now. Big trouble for the Shark. Well, he made the ball change in the ninth frame, and then another errant shot. He gets five through the middle. Six, seven, ten. In the pit, no doubt that is your hammer tough spare replay. Yeah! Victory's the last! And now, bring the energy back to a manageable level. He strikes here, he forces O'Neill to get all three. A strike will give Prather 226. O'Neill can max out at 227. It. Right. Wow. In the books with a 226. You like championship bowling? I do. takes game one. Wow, how did that happen? Started game one with a nine spare. We'll have the chance to do the same here in game two. And he's going to start things off on the right lane with a ball change. Must win this game to force a roll off. not how he wanted to start this one. Wow. Oh boy. Oh wow, was right. 
Well, it looks like he's gone to a stronger ball. He's moved wow. left. And the result is 4-9 four, four, pocket wow. split. And it's certainly not the way you want to start, especially when you need a win. Converted just under 20% of the time on the tour is the 4-9 split. Open frame first. Open frame and then a spare. Here he is in the third. Through the nose. Late drop of the seven, though. Makes this manageable, and he is really yeah. confused out there. And the shark starting to think about circling. So smooth, so effortless, so clean, so pure. It's been his coming out year. Won the Scorpion Championship, finished fourth at the Go Bowling PBA Jonesboro Open. Yeah! And now closing in on the PBA playoff title. Working off a strike, but struggles on the right lane. Going back to the, the other ball. So it got two looks. Oh, no. Oh, no. Chris Prather, something to think about if Bill O'Neill strikes on this ball. and through the nose. There you go, Billy. Put some pressure on him. I think that's all anybody is asking. We love Bill is the chant, and good reason to love Bill. A 258, and then that magical 289 yesterday in the semifinals. It's over. Prather. Congratulations, young man. It'll be fun taking that one to the bank, huh? Yeah. Hello, Mr. Teller. Here's my $100,000 check. I would like that in once. Congratulations, Chris Prather. Yep. Everybody. Ball great. Ball great. Your PBA playoff here. champ. He did ball great. Consistent, clean, yeah. Yeah. smooth, never really in danger. Go out and enjoy it. Bill O'Neill, what a show he put on over the weekend. But it's Chris Prather with the smile, with the arms raised. 2019 coming out party for that man. Indeed. Oh. We will hear from Prather in just moments. Kimberly and the crew assembling the trophy presentation. Hammers it into the pit. You guys are awesome! I'm also joined by the commissioner and CEO, Tom Clark, for the trophy presentation. Please do the honors. Awesome performance, Chris. It was sharp, man. <laughs> $100,000, this beautiful trophy. You're the first PBA playoffs champion on Fox. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's all yours. All right, Chris, let's talk about Literally, you told me a year ago that you were doubting on whether or not that you should be doing this tour full time. You just won the inaugural PBA playoffs, $100,000 to go with it. What does that say about where you should be? Never give up. Believe in yourself and anything's possible. I'd never dream that I'd be in this position and here I am. They're chanting my name and it's absolutely incredible. It has got to feel good to hear them chanting your name. Is this something that you've always dreamed about? Oh yeah, this, this is a dream come true. I have always wanted to make bowling a career and now I have, and I believe I've proved myself. Now let's talk about the fact that you just won $100,000 and you have credited your wife, Ashley, for being your rock. What does this win and this money mean for you and her? Honestly, it validates her belief in me a little bit. And I think I'm going to be able to travel with her a little bit more. And uh, I hope she knows how much I love her and, and appreciate her believing in me. Now, can we just talk about the match for a little bit here? Because there was a lot said about your nerves. But you seem to push that aside. And you had that huge split conversion in that first match. Yeah, honestly, coming in, I told myself 
No matter what happens, I'm making a lot of money, and I can't be disappointed making 40,000 or 100,000. You know, it's a lot of money, but just being here in this environment is incredible, and I will remember this day for the rest of my life. Well, before you walk away from today, you have one more thing to claim the PBA playoffs. You need to go right over to that board and sign your name. Yeah, I do. For the last time here at the PBA playoffs, one of the pros is going to put pen to paper. The Shark is your champion. Chris Prather wins the inaugural PBA playoffs.